did you forget about him? Yeah, it was just one end. <laughs> one end. <laughs> uh, you're right. It's just one end. Yeah, boss. They're puny. Hmm, puny? Say, let's pretend this brain is a puny little ant. Did that hurt? <laughs> nope. Well, how about this one? Are you kidding? <laughs> How about this? You let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. You've got to do it through small businesses. Uh, the Coppin Foundation did a study a couple of years ago that said small businesses have created 100% of the net new jobs since 1980. That means Fortune 1000 firms haven't created one net new job in over 30 years. So small businesses are the heart and soul of our nation's economy. There's one agency in Washington to help the small businesses. That's the Small Business Administration. It's actually a fairly small agency. Uh, there's 28 million small businesses. And Barack Obama is going to try to close it, which would be economic suicide. And uh, I'm trying to stop him. And um, I don't know why he wants to close it. I, I, I guess the only reason he wants to close it is to cover up the fraud and abuse that's gone on during his administration. I don't know if you saw the story, but the New York Times did a story um, a couple of months ago that the Obama administration gave 900, over 900 million in U.S. government small business contracts to a Russian-owned international arms dealer called Roseborn Exports. That's the type of thing that Barack Obama's doing. And um, there's been a number of federal investigations. Yes, we did see that. That was huge news. And that's only yeah. the tip of the iceberg. Absolutely. Uh, the inspector general for the small business administration that he appointed has stated every year of his administration, the number one challenge at the Small Business Administration is the diversion of federal small business contracts to large corporations, and they've named it one of the largest challenges facing the entire country. So I think Obama's gonna try to close the SBA by combining it with probably the Commerce Department, and it's just an attempt on his part to cover up the rampant fraud and abuse, and it's gonna be devastating to our economy if he's successful, and I hope people will join us in, in fighting the Obama administration to save the only agency to help the middle class. And as usual, uh, Mr. Chapman, there's all this spin uh, that is involved at so many levels to this where Obama's selling it like, I'm going to get rid of waste. I'm going to get rid uh, of a bad agency uh, and, and I'm going to cut government. But really, this is the agency that makes sure federal funds actually go to real U.S. companies and i.e. small ones. Absolutely. Federal law says a minimum of 23% of the total value of all federal contracts should go to small businesses. I don't think there's a better way to invest our tax dollars in, than to reinvest back into the companies that create all the jobs, the companies where most Americans work, and he wants to get rid of that. Uh, he says he's going to save $300 million a year. In the federal budget, that's, that's peanuts. Uh, the Pentagon misplaces hundreds of billions to put it into perspective, he says he's going to close the SBA to save $300 million a year, and he's going to increase foreign aid by $9 billion a year. That would be enough to do two things, put an armed guard in every school in America or run the SBA for a decade. So his story about uh, closing the SBA to save $300 million a year is just uh, ridiculous. It's not believable. And again, Lloyd Chapman joins us. Uh, he is the head of the ASBL, American Small Business League. Uh, really the only group out there, kind of like Gunners of America, that's 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 medium sized and really fighting hard. You know, you're a nice guy and you, you, you're not a psychopath, you're not a sociopath, you're not a control freak. So you go, I don't know why he's doing this. Well, you know, I mean, you, you've helped break it in the national news a few years ago where they create secret blacklists for small businesses, where they're taking the majority of the money and giving it not just to mega corporations, but foreign corporations. Uh, he paid $22 billion of the bailout money to General Motors to ship it to China. Uh, Vault, Cadillac, and, and uh, other factories, some others went to Brazil, others to Eastern Europe. They're doing everything they can. We went from $25 million on food stamps to $49 million his first four years. They want us dependent. They're globalists. It's Agenda 21. California knows when they raise taxes, it's going to kill the state. I mean, they know what they're doing. They want us bankrupt. 
Uh, it's cold-blooded. They want to destroy this country. They want to break us to bring us into collectivism. They're doing this, period. In fact, what's the percentage I saw in the Wall Street Journal in a, in a report talking about you like a year ago? How much of the small business contracts actually goes to multinationals? Oh, probably maybe half. And then total like goes that. to big companies that's supposed yeah. to be going to small ones. Right. I, I, mean, I mean, obviously, if you're going to have... You know, trillions of dollars to the federal government, it better come back into America. At least that creates some jobs. It gives them still control. But, I mean, they're killing their own golden goose here. Absolutely. The Small Business Act is the most efficient, effective economic stimulus program in the history of America. If Barack Obama would simply quit giving federal small business contracts to Fortune 500 firms that not only are not creating jobs but shipping jobs overseas... It would create more jobs, do more to boost the economy than anything he or President Bush ever spoke of. It's so simple. He could do one executive order, would take him five minutes, and just says a federal government would no longer report awards to publicly traded companies or foreign-owned companies as small business awards. It would put uh, as much as $200 billion a year in existing federal infrastructure spending back into the middle class, but he's not going to do that. And... Um, He's going to destroy our economy. There's, there's no logic uh, behind taking federal funds about law should be going to the, the, the middle class where most people work and all the jobs are created and giving it to foreign-owned companies. It's, there's, there's no way to justify it. It's that. totally illegal. I mean, and again, I kind of bumbled it earlier. We're going to break and come back and, and continue along this. But you know, the point is the, the no-bid contracts came out in Iraq, hundreds of billions of dollars. Something was over a trillion total, trillion seven, I think the whole thing, and it's still going. But they're sitting there saying, oh, you know, be quiet. We've got to have no bids for national security for American companies. It was foreign companies getting it a no bid. I mean, it's even worse, but to the general public, oh, we got to do it for national security for American companies. It's foreign companies. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, the foreign companies come in and lobby to take your tax money out of the country. This is how we've been occupied and conquered. This is economic espionage. But I've got to say, because the law plugs in uh, to the uh, Small Business Administration, it's designed to make sure the money does go to the lowest bid contractor uh, who has a good track record in the 50 states, not to foreign globalists. So what will Obama's trying to shut this administration down do? Uh, well, go ahead. You know, when, when you're talking about Obama, um, there's been a number of federal investigations during his administration. And I'm just reading these, these uh, reports. And all the reports say that his administration is diverting these federal funds that by law should be going to the middle class to some of the biggest companies in the world. Uh, you know, Lockheed, Boeing, Northrop, Northrop Raytheon, Finn Mechanic in Italy, Roseborn in Russia, um, companies in, in, um, in, in South Korea. So it's just, a, it's just a tragedy. If you really want to know who Barack Obama is, he's, he's a man that in the middle of the worst economic downturn in 80 years, when the statistics show irrefutably that small businesses create between 90 and 100 percent of the jobs, he's doing everything he can to take that money and divert it to the large businesses that most likely have uh, created one job in 30 years. And the law That's says he can't do that. And, and, and remember, the law, he's breaking the law to do that, and the corporate whore media is, is barely starting to cover it. I want to warn everybody that works for the system. You're not going to have a country anymore if you don't stop things like this. And the reason we have you on five or six times a year, Mr. Chapman, is because what you're saying is a real solution. Have the money go back to America. It is a no-brainer. It, 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 there, there's no logic. I would love to have anybody in the country, Obama's biggest supporter, explain to me, you know, how it's good for America to take our tax dollars that by law should be going to American companies and giving it to a Russian-owned international arms dealer are some of the biggest companies in Europe and Asia. Um, there, there's no way to 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 explain that. By the way, are you are you familiar with Obama's Jobs Council? I saw a story about that the other day. Yeah, tell folks about that. Oh, well, Obama's got a jobs council of all Fortune 500 firms. Now, uh, according to, again, the U.S. Census Bureau and the Kauffman Foundation, it doesn't look like Fortune 500 firms have created one job in 30 years. And that's who's Obama's jobs council. The president was ahead of GE. GE is shipping more American jobs overseas than any other company. So it's insane. It's and to be clear, insane. in the aggregate, and, and then those are cut numbers, it's actually worse. We're losing jobs. 
But in the aggregate, not one new job from Fortune 500. Almost, what is it, 90-something percent are made by the small businesses. And then meanwhile, but see, that's what he does. Oh, we don't have 50 states anymore. We have a governor's council I appoint. Oh, we don't have local counties anymore. We have a rural council I created. That's what he does. He, he creates a counterfeit that then is represented by the globalists. We'll be back. Stay with us.